So how do you dye fabric shoes? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do it from your own home, just like a pro, coming up. Welcome back, and thanks for joining me in this Cobbler's Masterclass, How to Dye Fabric Shoes. In this video, I'm gonna give you a simple version and an advanced version. So let's take a look at the supplies. In most of my videos, the supplies are available by clicking this link and going to my Amazon shopping cart. It's a little bit different today because I actually get my dyeing supplies directly from the source from Benjamin Walk. I've been carrying wedding shoes for over 18 years now, and this is the best company I've ever used. They deliver right away, they usually have everything in stock, and the customer service is just fantastic. The other thing I like about their products is that, you know, they have high quality uh, brands, or they have high quality shoes, but at a very reasonable price. The best I've ever seen out there, and you can compare yourself. Um, but anyway, Benjamin Walk, and you can find them online. You can also contact them, I'm sure, through their website. So, um, I will be using one of their pairs, and a handbag. So this is for a client. She uh, was gonna go to prom this year and she bought these darling shoes from Benjamin Walk. Aren't those beautiful? And these are satin. And then she also bought a matching handbag. And this bag is fantastic. It comes with a choice of, you know, they give you a cloth handle, but they also give you the choice of getting a gold or a silver. This gal is doing a kind of a mermaid blue color dress. And so this really went well, especially with the color that we're gonna do. The other, um, the other, and we're just gonna do one color for her. So um, for hers, we're actually gonna do, if you order one of these, um, international artistic dye kits from Benjamin Walk, the same company, they offer you a kind of a preset menu. And this first page, they're all items that come straight out of the bottle. So this happens to be number 15. We're doing a champagne color for her shoes. Any of these that come right out of the bottle, super easy, of course. But then I'm gonna give you an advanced version at the second half of this video, and it is going to be this color, which yes, looks like a, a champagne, but it's not the same color that's out of this kit. So hers, we actually, when you get into the advanced colors, especially I picked this one because champagne is a really tricky color to do. Um, this one, we actually went through the dye chart and picked a color that we thought went best. And we settled on um, this color here, which is a mix of number four, number seven, and number 10. So these are some of the colors I'm gonna be using there. And um, the other tricky part about it is that this is the client's own shoe. This is a dyeable shoe, but it's a little bit different fabric. Um, this one actually, it's, it's a trickier color. So we're gonna do many, many uh, samples, which is usually when you're mixing in a champagne, it has a tendency to go pink or go muddy looking. So I'm gonna do um, test swatches in a little spot. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back and check it with the dress and see, you know, at the final, stage do I like it. Then I'm going to do a very small test spot somewhere on the bottom of the heel or somewhere on the inside where you can't see it. So that'll be the advanced version. That's always, it's fun to do. I really love dyeing shoes. Um, some of the other things that you'll need, um, this is actually a measuring cup that comes that you can order that you need to use this artistic kit because um, it'll tell you how much to enter at each of these lines. And then, of course, you're going to need to use some daubers. They come in small and they come in large. Uh, Benjamin Watt can sell you either size. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start this project with this handbag. It's a little rainy outside, if you notice, and that's okay because 
I don't want this bag to dry super quick. It's got a lot of padding. And the key to doing a nice dye job is that you wanna do the whole item without any part of it drying. Otherwise, it's gonna leave a watermark. So I'm actually kind of glad it's a little bit uh, humid out today. So let's get started. Like I said, this is right out of the bottle. I do a lot of this color champagne and I try to encourage my clients to use this color. It goes with everything and you know, it's just a basic color. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm wearing an apron, as you notice, I don't want to get any dyes on my uh, clothing. So I'm going to start at the top, the most visible part, and make sure to be really generous with the dye. I've got a whole bottle. Like I said, I'm being generous because I want to make sure that if this dauber starts to dry out, it will, um, you know, it'll make more of a mark. So really get these bags wet. You can't hurt them. So in this spot right here, it looks like there's a watermark, but it's not. Because I'm doing the whole thing wet, that will disappear. Now we'll go ahead and dye the shoes, of course, unbuckling everything. This is also a very safe color. It doesn't stain like uh, colors like red or blue. If you get red or blue on the sole, it will cause a stain and you want to get right in there and try to wipe it off as quickly as possible. But ultimately you just don't want to get it on there. Keep a little towel handy. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get these little insides and um, I just squish this dauber down so that it um, gets in there. Well, it sure is a pretty color. I love that working with this color. And one of the other tricks that I always talk about in my dyeing videos is that you don't want to have fabric, these fabric parts touching each other. Like you don't want to do the two shoes and then accidentally have them sitting next to each other because they'll cause another watermark.
Benjamin Walk will also dye your shoes for you if you don't want to, if this is not something you're going to do as a business, but you just want to do it for yourself or maybe you're a little intimidated and don't want to risk it on your, you know, party shoes. Um, Dyables will do it for you for a nominal charge. It's really great. And their experts are awesome. They're good artists. Okay. So I'm not letting any of the pieces touch each other, right? Like that. There we go. And we'll let those dry out. That took about one whole shot glass, which is, it typically doesn't usually even take that much, but because that handbag was that thick padded material, um, doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, so there we go, and now we'll move on to the advanced. We're gonna mix our color now for this complicated one. And I'm using the A47 recipe, which is number four to the letter B. So number four, and I do this very carefully. Number four to the letter B. So this is kind of an orange color, kind of a rust color. There you go. The ingredient is number seven, and we're gonna fill that up to the top, and it says right on the bottle top, And the next one is 10 drops of mixing black. So do that carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and use just the end of my dauber to mix it and really mix it well. Okay, that's mixed pretty well. Now we'll just do a nice little spot right on the side. And uh, the key here is to not be deceived by what it looks like right out of the jar um, or out of the mix. You need to really let it dry and dry all the way, which could take an hour, especially that it's a little humid out right now with the rain. And then We'll compare it, hold it up to the dress. Um, and I do notice that colors lift. Like right now, uh, comparing this with the fabric, it looks dark. It looks more like a, a brownish instead of this gold tone that we need. But I know how these colors work and they really lift in color as they dry. So we're just gonna let it dry. So I think we've really nailed this color. It's just right on and I try it in the different shade, you know, the different lighting to see and it really is, it's hard to tell with this lighting in here, but you know, I like to do it in the daylight. I like to do it under fluorescent lights and I think this color is just really going to be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the shoes.
so we're winding up the shoe dyeing, and this was the advanced one. And I thought, what a great opportunity to show you this shoe. So this shoe is a, a Nina. It came, as you saw, the original beige. And when the client came in, I, you know, she wanted this brown color to match her dress. This is the actual swatch. This was the dry color, it matches the fabric perfectly. When I applied it to the shoe, this is what happened. So uh, this tells me that the shoe was probably treated with some kind of a scotch guard, some kind of a coating on top of it, and it just took the color very weird. And I'm showing this because I thought it was a great example of why it's good to communicate with your customers and why it's good to go with a brand of shoe that you know is dyeable. When this client came in, she had this shoe in her closet already and she likes the way it fits. It's comfortable. Nina's a wonderful brand. I love Nina's. But I did tell her, you know, we just don't know. And because the Nina didn't have a sample swatch in the box, it, we were just going to have to try it and see what happened. And so I did communicate with her. So she was willing to take the risk and we tried it and it didn't work. I'll try maybe another coat of something, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the same results. This shoe really picked up the uh, dark gray color that was in the uh, bottle number 10, I believe it was, and just handled the colors so differently, especially through this pleat here. So what I, and what I recommended to the client was that if it didn't work, we would find something that was better that still works like this shoe, which is what's great about the Benjamin Watt Company. So, you know, just looking at the different items, you know, they have a couple of shoes here that are very similar to this style. They're all dyeable. Uh, they come with the swatch, so we know it's, I mean, this is the dyeables material that I used. And um, she, you know, same heel height, she can probably do with the Ida. Um, some of these are really beautiful too, the Nadia and the Abby. So, We've got plenty of time, which was really smart. The client came in really early to make sure that we had time to try it and then see if we need to take the next step. So that is what I'm gonna recommend, and I'm sure she'll love them because Diables is super um, Benjamin Walk. They do Diables, touch-ups, and the Comfort Collection. And you know, all of their stuff is fantastic. So I'm excited. We know that the color is gonna be good, so I don't have to redo, the, I mean, I will, because it's a custom mix, I will remake the mix again and test it one more time to make sure that the shade works. Um, but anyway, that was a really good learning experience and to share with you. So thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you had fun watching me change from white to a fun color. I really love how the handbag and the shoe turned out. Uh, they're gorgeous. And anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out the rest of the Cobbler series and uh, remember to share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and thanks again for joining me here in Hawaii. Aloha.